The G7 is also providing economic and humanitarian support to Ukraine as President Putin tries to make up for Russia's defeats on the battlefield by targeting civilian infrastructure that provides Ukrainian men, women, children, and elderly people with heat, water, and electricity. Russia's destroyed some 40% of Ukraine's energy infrastructure, including thermal energy plants that provide many Ukrainian homes, schools, hospitals, with heat in the wintertime when temperatures can drop to 20 degrees below Celsius. President Putin seems to have decided that if he can't seize Ukraine by force, he will try to freeze it into submission. This is just the latest crime that President Putin is committing against the people of Ukraine. It was not enough to fill mass graves in Bucha and Irpin. It was not enough to cut off food, water, and medicine to the residents of Mariupol. It was not enough to violently uproot tens of thousands of Ukrainians from their homes and deport them to Russia through so-called filtration operations. On top of all of this, President Putin is also fear-mongering about nuclear weapons.